What's good, YouTube? Y'all know it's born dog. Come back at you with yet another video, man. Today's topic: NBA 2K22 is a rep system, guys. Listen, after next gen's rep system, guys. You know, this is a little rant slash. You know, I'm, I'm trying to be generous though, but this is a little rant. You feel me? So look, check this out. I'm gonna talk loud. You know, like I said, in my last video, mic's pretty messed up. But check this out, guys. So look, you see. NBA 2K 18 through 21 rep system, in my opinion, and I'm sure a lot of people can vouch as well, has been pretty downgrading. I'm going to use a very good word, downgrading. So, it's been downgrading, you know what I'm saying? It could be a lot better. The rep rewards have been so basic in the last three years of this game, three or four, however many, it has been so basic that a lot of people don't even try to hit legend no more. Mostly YouTubers and content creators hit legend. Back then in 15, 16, 17, you had a lot of random people that just like hitting legend just because they like playing the game so much. Because they feel like they had something to play for. But in today's game, uh-uh, that's not the case. These last three, four years of 2K, man, it's not even a reason to really hit legend unless you're a content creator i'm just to be honest with you it's not even a reason now guys just keeping it all the way a buck with you it's not even a reason to hit honestly <laughs> look it's no reason to play past superstar 2 and next gen just keeping it all the way a buck with you guys so look i'm showing you guys all of the older 2ks we're only going to do 15 16 and 17 today because they had the most relevant most rewarding and most, you know what I'm saying, just replenishing rep rewards. So look, guys, starting off with my first one that I hope they have in a game. As you guys can see, as you know, LD, uh, he'll scroll up or whatever the case, but you'll see throughout this video, man. If you guys look at 2K15 rep rewards, they were rewarding, guys. Just look at, you know what I'm saying, the rewards that we had to get. Some rewards, man, you have to... I believe reach pro three in order to travel to rival parts think about it guys once you want to hit a rip in order to be able to travel to a whole new park in next gen guys they just allow you to just you know what i'm saying roll to the park there is no traveling and whatnot you know you just roll straight to the park and that's it in 2k 15 16 and 17 you had an incentive if you hit pro three you were able to travel to different parks think about how interesting that simple but interesting and you know what i'm saying rewarding that is we hit a certain level and we get to travel to new parks you know what i'm saying how genius you see what i'm saying so i feel like next gen should also have that man instead of just allowing us to roll everywhere we want to roll man put a little block up or something so when we hit that certain rip we can go ahead and travel there you feel me you see how simple it is they would have so many people playing the game like guys think about it for a second if you gotta hit a certain level to get to another part aren't you gonna want to play think about it look at rookie uh look at what was it rookie world whatever it was man um i forget rookieville rookieville yeah there you go rookieville man you think about it everybody wanted to get out of rookieville you feel me so look my next one is this is a important one man if you're going to have affiliations in this game then look you see in 2k 15 i don't know if it was all star one two or three i don't know i'm not sure correct me in the comments i don't know but it was one of those reps okay so you hit that rep and you were able to earn i believe what was it 50 percent more rep in the rival parks tell me something guys mike wayne runny 2k ld 2k all of the 2k content creators tell me something why on earth did you guys add all of these rival parks if you were going to give us a negative 50 percent to play in them what is the point don't say splitting and all this and that don't say it do not say it i want to hear a different excuse guys you have to tell me right now what was the reason of that it makes no sense 
50, negative 50% just to play in a new park? Do you guys honestly think the, the 2K headquarters, do you guys honestly think us as NBA 2K players want to sit here and play in the same park all day, every single day? Haven't you guys learned your lesson from uh, 18, 19, 20? Haven't you guys learned? We don't like playing in the same park all day, man. And 16, 17, and 18, I mean, I'm tripping. 15, 16, and 17 was so, you know what I'm saying? Everybody played it for so long because we were able to constantly travel to different venues and play. Even if they were the same venues, they were still different venues because we could travel through each and every one. You guys have to give us back that incentives to let us earn two times rep, 50% VC. You know what I'm saying? You guys have to give us double VC, double rep, playing in different parts. That will keep the game alive, keep it fluctuating, and have everybody just having a lot of, you know what I'm saying, good memories and good times, guys. We can't be sitting here having four affiliations and you can't even play in none. You can only play in your own. What is the point of having them? And then the only time you get the rep incentives is on Rival Day. And Rival Day was just trash, if you ask me. Rival Day was so trash and next gen, it was just ridiculous. But look, you get what you get my point, man. Like, come on now. We should be able to, you know what I'm saying, streak up in other parks and earn double rep, double VC. That would that would just make the game base a whole lot better. It's simple rep rewards, 2K. Obviously, we're gonna want to get back into the jetpacks and the tigers and all that. But look, simple rep rewards like being able to travel to parks, being able to get double VC, double rep, being able to do certain things like that will allow the player base to keep on expanding and stay interested in a game. Now, lastly, guys, tell me something. Why on earth did we spend five, six hundred dollars? Some of us even spent a band on the PS5 version of 2K that all they gave us at Legend was teleportation who wants to teleport in 2k i would have much rather drove a car around the city or drove a jetpack or rode on the back of a tiger you feel me but look guys y'all gotta add more 2k so man check this out this is the end of the video guys leave your comments down below let me know what you think man look forward to you guys outlooks on this it's time, man. It's really time. NBA 2K22 rep system. It's your boy Underdog, and I'm out, y'all. Peace.